Cancer. Cancer, welcome to Sad Your Life to Roll. I'm Shannon. I'll be your host on this energy check-in. This energy joy ride. Pray with me, won't you? God, creator, universe, source. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Guardian angels, ancestors, mother and father. Humbly we come before you in gratitude. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for blessing us in this day. Goodness, love, joy, peace, mercy, long life, happiness, prosperity, and protection from me to you, cancer. Amen. I'm trying to do this lightly so I don't blow out the candles. Huh? Cancer, welcome to all my newcomers. Welcome in to all my subscribers and my friends. Welcome back. Y'all, I was sitting here doing rituals today. Is new, it's the full moon. And it's in Sagittarius. It's a very strong portal right now. The moon is in Gemini. So, very strong portal right now. You want to set your intentions. Write down the things you truly hoping to happen. And see what will be for the future. Because it is a new cycle here, Cancer. A new cycle. I think you took back your power. You walked away from people that no longer serve you. Four of Wands in reverse. This was a relationship that has been a problem for a long time there was for some 10 years in this in this relationship that was a very heartbreaking relationship you could have for some for some you could have been in a relationship where somebody did not value you where somebody talked down to you treated you very badly here unfairly you could have been praying about this situation, hoping and praying to find a new outcome for this situation. It could have been a, a marriage here. The celebration is over, but it took a while for you to heal. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy. Will of Fortune. Jupiter is here. So that's everything changing in your favor. But this could have been a long time coming. You could have been hurt, disappointed in a relationship or somebody uh, possibly even, I don't know why I'm here and put their hands on you. It was a lot of things wrong with this relationship, with this four of wands in reverse and this temperance energy, this fire and this water. It was somebody who cried a lot of nights was not happy where they were couldn't wait to get out of this situation but somebody took you took back your power and you now walking into a different cycle you decided to let this old cycle go somebody walked out of this relationship it could have been it could be a job somebody walked out of a job but it's looking like it's a relationship with this four of wands there was no passion there. It was just a convenience, a relationship of convenience. That's what I'm hearing. But look at you when you walked away from this cancer, ten of pentacles. You changed your life. Like this changed your life. Not just for you, but for your kids, for generations to come. This is helping out the females, the masculines, somebody could have been going through a bad relationship for 10 plus years, been stuck in the same cycle over and over again, not knowing how to get out. Every time you got away from this cycle, somehow you were drawn back into it. But I feel like you taking back your power, you doing what's necessary in your life, 
uh, to change for the better. You have Ten of Pentacles here. So this is going to be a good outcome. Like this is going to be the best years of your life. Like you've endured a lot. You went through a lot. Somebody here could be helping other people through some stuff with writing. Somebody could be writing a book. You could possibly have people that want you to come talk to them. Look at this. For years, somebody was stuck in an energy where it just kept pulling you back. Every time you got out of this energy, it pulled you right back in. I hope that this, this it, it looks like the cycle is over. But of course, for some, you could possibly turn right back around and end up right back in this situation with this devil energy here. And this devil energy is letting you know, Capricorn energy, this devil energy is letting you know that it was an addiction, but it was, it was so, somebody could have been so dependent upon you. Somebody wouldn't let you go. This relationship was so devastating. Like this relationship could have took a toll on the kids that was here. Everybody is doing so much better in this Ten of Pentacles energy. It took for you to overcome this. When you see the devil is saying you overcoming something, you can overcome these situations. And with this Four of Wands, when you walked away or somebody left a relationship, got a divorce, left a job even. It could have been a job that you were with. It could have been family. You could have been with family that just kept taking advantage of you. And you finally got away from the situation, got away from these people. But it was hard. It was a hard battle, uh, Knight of Swords. This was a battle to get away from these people. Like, they just kept drawing you back in. But you now, you are being protected, like, heavily guarded here. Queen of Swords, heavily guarded. You even guard in your own heart now. You finally found a way, the, the nerve to move away from this, to let this go. You found the nerve to give yourself respect, yourself the opportunity to say no. Because you said no to somebody, you walked away from something. And this was a very hard battle. Like, you could have been, again, for some people, it was 10 years in some type of relationship, some type of environment that was very damaging mentally and emotionally. But you've learned to heal from this third-party situation. That's what I see with this Three of Pentacles. For some, this is you going to a different situation and now it's going to be collaboration. Y'all going to work together. It's going to be a better situation. It could be a love. It could be a job. You could be leaving one job and going to another job. The last one that you left from was a long time coming and the wheels finally turned, gave you a, a situation and gave you an out of whatever this was. Somebody could have been, uh, somebody could be drinking a lot. Somebody could be on drugs heavily. It could be even a sex addiction here. And for some, with, the, with that addiction, this third party is here. So you could have been with somebody that was constantly in a third party situation. And it just continuously kept offending, offending you, hurting you. You get three major arcanas, which means that you are now expressing your true emotions. You are standing up for yourself. You are taking full responsibility for the actions that you are taking. You are taking full responsibility for your happiness and your joy. And what is going to bring you stability in your life. Somebody let go of this third party person. This person could have been the most evil person in your life, Gaia. That is like the sun coming out saying you are healed here. Definitely get you get get you get out in nature, get you some sunlight. 
say yes to the things you think you can't do. Because it's a change in your life now. Like you are on a different path now. Things are going to start looking better for you. Because you might it this might have been like a dark time of your life. But somebody went with this temperance energy. Somebody went and started seeking their own happiness. What will make you happy? You finally stood up for yourself. For somebody, for some. Mm. They can't talk to you. They can talk to you however they want to, but they can't treat you like they used to no more. With that Queen of Swords, you say you cut that off quick. You cannot do me like this no more. I will not allow that in my life. With this temperance energy, this is guidance, protection, and and your angels and guardians coming to assist you. It was a situation that you had to get away from. And angelic health is here. So you know your guardians. Like I said, somebody is heavily protected. And remember whoever did this, because the wheel of fortune is out here. Whoever did something to you, is karma got to come back. Karma has to come back on them. You could be traveling. Uh, somebody could have moved out of the house they were living in. Somebody could have left uh, the state altogether. Just to get away from this relationship or this job or this family. Mm -hmm. and, but ask your uh, angels for help. Stay in constant contact with your angels. And, and this is a time to trust that the universe is working on your behalf. Your angels are working for you. Explore again. That's somebody going to find a new life. Going to explore for their own life. Exploring your spiritual awakening. Exploring what makes you happy. Ex uh, taking a new step in life. Past what you used to. We going to get what's the tea. Same shit, different day. Wow. Wow. Wow, it's time for you to definitely get out and explore. Enjoy yourself. Go have fun with your friends, your family that love you, the people that uplift you. Wow. That's what it was. That's what it was like being in that relationship. Same stuff, different day. Crying over you, sad, hurt, and upset. Listen, this person is now watch it for the people that was in a relationship and this person treated you so crappy in this relationship. This person going to be so in love with you and so hurt and so sad because now they can't never have you and they won't ever have access to you. And for some of y'all, y'all not going back to this. You finally got away from this. Somebody was 10 or 10 plus years in something like this. And you finally get away. You're not going back. You're going to find whatever in your heart, whatever in your life. You got to find somebody here is getting this angelic help. So you don't go back to these same things. I understand cancer. I truly do. I truly do. And this is exactly why I pray with y'all. As soon as I do it, before I start and when I end this, I'm going to pray because... Prayer works, and when you pray for other people, it works even better. Bankrupt, somebody about to get evicted. I feel like this is not you. This is not you right now. What's the T is telling us about this energy, these people or situations that was in your life. For some, somebody bankrupted you. Somebody took all your little money inside school, but closer look nosy up in your business now now they all up in your business trying to find out what you got going on let's get a couple of these uh secrets of the hidden realm the whale watcher wisdom power of the divine number seven what did we just say you are divinely protected here and so sorry for this person and don't you feel sad for them because they mistreated you if they would have treated you right maybe you wouldn't have up and left but somebody definitely left and look at you with this ten of pentacles once you got away from it and healed yourself with this temperance energy found a strength to heal yourself you might have cried for a while but it wasn't crying because you were sad no more. It's crying because you finally got over this. Finally got out of here. Finally got out of that situation. 
Ooh, Cancer. I can feel the energy too. The freedom energy of being free from a burden that you've been carrying with you for a long time. It looked good on from the outside, but on the inside, it was slowly killing you. The spiral dancer, circulus root. Somebody is taking it. That's that journey right there. Perception. Changed how you looked at things. Changed how you looked at yourself. You now value yourself more than you used to. You stayed in that relationship because you didn't have too much value for yourself. Stayed in it at that job. Didn't think you deserved better. But now you know you deserve greatness. You deserve the best, Cancer. Let's get some Kipper. What Kipper want to say? Look at that. Judication, number 30. And pathway 35. There it is again. Somebody is taking a journal journey, spiritual journey, awakeness. Somebody is definitely getting out of here. And somebody could be going to court for kids. Somebody could be going to court for the house. Remember, um, bankrupt was here. Somebody could be going to, uh, for child support. Somebody could be going to get a divorce. It's a, it's a struggle. It, it took a long time to get there, but your path is finally cleared for you. This is my new deck. It is money manifestations. Let's get some of these money manifestations for you, Cancer. I want to give you some of these money manifestations. What they going to say? These are some rather nice cards. These little cards. Is it, is it, what will manifestation say? Money manifestation say for cancer. They still a little stuck together because they knew. I just opened them up last night. I think I only used them once or twice so far. So let's see what we gonna say for cancer. They gonna say something, Cancer. Just hold on a second. Be patient, cause you know sometimes Holy Spirit, Holy Angels want you to hold on and wait for your your blessings. Hold on. That's what took so long. It took for you to value yourself to get out of that relationship, their situation, circumstances, whatever it was. Look at all these. Come on, let's see what they say. Niche, yo niche. You found your. With your unique experiences and fresh fresh perspectives, there we go again with your perception. You would do very well specializing in a niche. What's your niche? You know, something gift. What's your talent? What makes you something that, that you can do very well? A dream job. Somebody about to get that dream job. Did you ever think you could get paid just for being yourself? Competition. Remember that there is no competition if you are truly original. Host. Whether you your space is physical or digital, you could find a lot of fulfillment in being a host. Okay. Walk away. What you're doing now isn't working for you, but you are willing to walk away to make room for something better. Yes, depending. You can fully come into your power if you rely on others for financial support. You might need that financial support. Let's get a today's prayer. We start with a prayer. We end with a prayer. What is this say for cancer? Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. Psalm 16 and 1, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here with me. I truly do love and appreciate each and every one of you. My information in the description box below. Be my friend. I'll be your friend. And until we meet again, I love you.